Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, I get sent a lot of stuff and I don't usually do unboxings uh, on the channel because if I don't know what it is, I don't want to open it up and uh, give a sideways endorsement to something that might not be any good because a lot of stuff that I get sent is uh, kind of gimmicky. Um, there's a lot of kitchen gimmicks out there. But this, I know what this is. I know what this is. They told me they were going to send it and I'm kind of excited because I've used their products in the past. It is from Solid Technics and it is their newest uh, frying pan. Iron Love Seasoning Conditioner. Well, we'll get to that. It is their newest frying pan. It is called the Quench. Um, and uh, I'm excited because it's it represents a new direction in wrought iron pans. It represents a new direction in wrought iron pans and the way that they are seasoned. So, look at that. Now, um, I don't really want to get into too much of an of a, a argument or a shouting match about cast iron versus wrought iron. I've got a lot of cast iron pans. Um, a lot of cast iron pans. I use them all the time. I've got cast iron pans that were my great great grandmother's cast iron pans. Beautifully seasoned, easy to use. I love them. But they do have drawbacks. Um, and a couple of those drawbacks are that even on an induction cooktop or the gas cooktop inside the house, they don't heat up evenly and they don't heat up quickly. It takes a long time to get them up to temperature. Once they're up to temperature, the thermal mass, they hang out, hang on to that heat almost forever. What I found with these wrought iron or low carbon mild steel pans from Solid Technics is that they heat up evenly and they heat up quickly. And there's still enough weight to this that um, when you put something into fried, it doesn't lose temperature at all. Um, now, this newest pan they're calling the Quench. And here's the things, right? So they, they make the pan, um, they do their secret process and they make this pan they heat it up and then they quench it, which means as it's still red hot, they dip it into a quick dunk of a red hot pan in a non-GMO rice bran oil, which creates this strong black seasoning layer. And, you know, just touching this pan, it's, it is nicely seasoned. Like it, um, it looks like you could cook with this right out of the box which is where this little bag comes in. And this is their Iron Love Seasoning Conditioner, a blend of organic, non-GMO, beeswax, coconut oil, and avocado oil. Um, so a little bit weird. Um, it has no smell. Look at that, it's a little heart. Now the idea is that, uh, that we go through a very quick stovetop seasoning process. So let's get to it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here's the idea. We bring this up to sort of medium heat and this will come up to heat fairly quickly on this induction cooktop. Okay, so I think this is hot enough because it's just starting to smoke. And in the little explanation video they sent, as soon as this hit the pan, it started to smoke like that. Now, it sounds like that's all you put in. And then you just take a cloth, you wipe it until it's dry. And then you pull it off the heat. And off the heat, you let it cool down, and then you do this a few more times, and it's fully seasoned. So I'm gonna let this cool down, and then I'm going to season it three or four more times, and then we'll fry something up and see what happens. Now I used the little Iron Love heart that they sent. Uh, I used all of it, so I did this probably five or six times, and I've got a really nice, smooth finish on the inside of this pan. Now here's the deal. Um, as I was using it, my mind starts working and sometimes I'm not the swiftest person in the kitchen. And I finally remembered where I used beeswax oil combination in the past. And that's with these. This is a cannelé mold. And so a cannelé is a type of French pastry. This is a copper mold that's tinned on the inside. And you heat these up and you mix together beeswax with some butter and then you paint the inside with the beeswax and the butter and it makes it non-stick so you can get the pastry out. Uh, and so I thought, wow, there's precedent. This is something that gets used. So I did a little bit of research while, you know, I was doing the other stuff. 
And I realized that there are companies out there that pre-mix beeswax with different types of oil, and then they sell you the pucks uh, that you then use to season your cast iron frying pans. So it occurred to me that that's something we could make ourselves and save a bunch of money and then use the types of oils that we want to use and not be beholden to what we're being sold. So I made one um, just as a test, turned out really well. So in a future episode, uh, I'm going to show you how to turn beeswax and oil into a seasoning puck and we're going to season a couple of brand new cast iron frying pans and see how it works out. So I've got this pan on sort of uh, medium low and we're going to fry an egg and see how well it works. Now my fat of choice for frying eggs is bacon fat, so I'm just going to get a good scoop. In goes the bacon fat. And I probably use too much, but I like a really nice greasy fried egg. Okay, take that last little bit out. And in with the egg. Sprinkle a little pepper over top. I like a little bit of pepper on mine. And a little bit of salt. And Okay, to me, that's pretty much no stick. I mean, it's not sliding around in the bottom of the pan because I didn't put a lot of oil, but it's not stuck to the bottom of the pan. There's no egg stuck to the pan. So I think this is probably a really good substitute for a no stick pan, you know, within reason. I think this works really well. There's not really anything stuck on the bottom of that pan that won't come right off. So I'm gonna treat this wrought iron pan just like I treat all of my cast iron. It will go into the sink, hot water, soap, and get a light wash. Uh, I don't scrub it, I don't use like a scrubbing pad or anything like that because it is pretty much non-stick. This will just wipe out. Gets dried completely, put on the stove top, and the first few times I use it, I probably will put a skim of oil and bring it back up the temperature and let it cool down again um, using this puck that I've made and then store it. Um, so I think if you're looking for a cast iron pan, if you're just starting out and you're looking for something new to add to your cooking arsenal, you really should consider these wrought iron pans. I think they're pretty good value for money in the long term. You're gonna buy it once, you're never gonna buy it again. So, thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.